Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Astrology Today and Tarot. My name is Mel Rose. This is the Tarot portion in the second half of my daily astrology vlog, which you can check out on my other channel, Astrology Today with Mel Rose. Over there, you can find a description of the day's astrology as I have laid it out here. Here I will discuss the tarot card that sits on the side of the page, and then I'll play another card that, in the context of today's astrology, may give us something more to think about. So let's get into it. The card that currently sits on the side of the page, just one more day, friends, <laughs> is the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords is here because it represents the, the second 10 days of the sun's transit in the land of Libra. So Libra is an air sign, and and swords in tarot represent air element symbolism too. The air element symbolism is about the intellect, the rationale, the logic th that we use, the thoughts we have, the plans we make, and the words we use. And in tarot that often comes with sort of a, a lesson or a warning about how easily our words, our thoughts, and our plans can be used to do harm as well as to give help, right? So here we come to the Three of Swords, and clearly somebody has done some harm with their word. And so there's this absolutely crushed, heartbroken feeling that comes from that. You know, people will say and do things that really just hurt us to our core, and it's a dark and stormy feeling. The rain comes down, the skies are gray, everything is di seems dismal, you don't know who or what you can trust, right? So that's a tough way to feel and I doubt that anybody escapes feeling that way ever <laughs> right uh, but the but the good news is that it is a temporary feeling and that if we uh, you know don't want to dwell here in the heartache then we can uh, you know look toward the sunlight again um, simply by uh, you know a few steps that I would take if somebody has broken my heart like this I would definitely block them. I would ban them from my space. I would not want to be around them, right? Um, and then, you know, at least at least not until I have healed from the situation. And then, uh, you know, I would also, uh, you know, think about the words that were said, think, think about the plans that were made or the way people use communication against you or, or thought, thoughts or, and planning against you. And um, I would... Uh, you know, realize how little of what they did or said had actually anything to do with me and who I am, right? And with that, you begin to sort of dissolve the swords or pull them out of the wounds so that you can attend the wounds themselves, how hurt you feel about it. And then, you know, having attended them, it will heal and you will come back stronger and better able to connect uh, with people who are probably more worthy of your time and attention anyway. And with all of that said, Oh, we got the moon again. Dang, y'all. <laughs> Spirit is trying to speak to us about something here. <laughs> it's just been a couple of days since we got the moon with the three three of swords here. So let's see what we can what we what more we can take from it. You know, it occurred to me the other day, I was looking at this card as I was watching it on the tube because I watch these um, every morning when I get up. And um it occurred to me that these people, you know, are, are clearly here to do some sort of initiation to mystery, right? Uh, it's about being out under the moon. It's about being vulnerable um, and, you know, uh, maybe taking a path towards something unknown to see what happens, right? To find out about ourselves, to find out what we're made of. And uh, it occurs to me that both of these people are wearing masks. Now, in the traditional moon card, there's like a, there's a wolf and there's a dog, and then there's like a crab or, or some sort of crustacean crawling out of the water here. And, the, you know, it's meant to say that we have two sides. You know, we have, the, we have the domesticated side of being human, and then we have the more wild animal side of being human. And, you know, there's not a lot of room for the wild animal side of being human, in the, you know, in the world. Uh, but we still do have instincts that we follow. Uh, we, we still do have to listen to our intuition and what comes up from the gut about what's happening in certain situations because, um, you know, we, we just have to be able to uh, perceive very well what is going on around us for our own, uh, you know, progress and protection, I would say. 
So, uh, you know, the, the element of wearing the mask, the mask of the dog or the mask of the wolf would tell me, you know, that, that part of becoming vulnerable to the mystery is sort of to cover our own faces, cover up our, find a way to uh, hide our own persona, right? So it can't be like my eyes and my smile meeting that mystery because then that, that allows me to put my ego out front when I am engaging that mystery. And, and you don't get as much from, <laughs> you know, inspecting the depths of the psyche to, or inspecting the depths of some, some mystery, uh, when you, when you bring your ego face to it. Okay. So, uh, if you have something, you know, if you, if you are in, if you are, especially if you're inspecting the self, if you're doing some shadow work, if you're thinking about those parts of yourself that you're not necessarily proud of, or you're not necessarily, uh, interested in sharing with other people, <laughs> right? Uh, when we're confronting those things, uh, we don't want to have something to, that we have, you know, that, we don't want the ego to have a stake in in something being just one way or just another way, right? We don't want to have, we don't want the ego to be there saying, well, this can't be true. You know, clearly this is, this part of the mystery is flawed because my experience says this, right? <laughs> we can't, we can't have the, the ego getting in the way of our ability to, to see deeply in, you know, to look deeply within ourselves. And then, you know, there's always the possibility of fears and, and, uh, and insecurities. It's like we're caught between a, a rock and a dark place here. You know, you've got the ego on one side that's sort of, it's too invested in how, what, how good you look and how, and how well you're doing, you know, by social and cultural standards to really, uh, to, to really bring to the party of looking deeply within, right? And then, you know, behind us, we have the shadow, the actual shadow, we have the, the fears and insecurities that arise, the, the deep, dark woundings that we have that we, uh, you know, wrestle with often just to keep it, to keep it back there where we don't have to think about it. Right. So we have to understand that when we're going into the mysteries, we can't bring really the ego or the shadow with us. Um, you know, we, we really just have to become as vulnerable as possible. And when the ego arises, you know, we, we blind ourselves to it or we blind it to what's going on, right? We, we take the ego out of it or we cover it up so that we, you know, are not our ego selves, but we are our body selves and our heart selves and our animal gut instinct selves. And then when the fears and insecurities arise, understand that that is necessarily a part of discovering the depths of a mystery is, is confronting those fears and insecurities, but also not allowing, not allowing it to get in the way of your ability to do honest introspection. And having said all of that, I'm going to say, you know, the moon early, early today is, is conjunct to Uranus. Now the moon is going to move across this line today. It moves pretty quickly. So, uh, it starts off the day in Uranus, um, you know, quincunx to the sun and Venus and, and trying to Pluto. This trying to Pluto is a really positive thing. Uh, it, it just says, you know, when, when moon and Pluto make aspect, they, you know, things come up. We have deep recall. We, understand things more clearly than we did before we, you know, uh, or, or we just realize things that, uh, that maybe we had not realized before. And at this time, because it's a trine vibration, that nice green line, they're both in earth signs right now. Um, at this time, that's a really good thing. And it's a good thing to do what you can to express what's coming up from the shadow, what's coming up in terms of fear and insecurity, and, and also what it is that you observe in terms of of just the mystery of your own humanity and taken together with the three of swords. Oh, there's so much introspection that goes on with, uh, that goes on with heartbreak. Isn't there like, you know, what did I do to deserve this? Um, you know, like, everybody to me, you know, all people, they say this about children, but I think that this is pretty much all people. Maybe a few of us don't do this, but pretty much all people, you know, when something goes terribly wrong, when somebody we trusted betrays us or lies to us or talks smack about us, right? When, when, uh, you know, when our trust is betrayed, you know, we, we always have a tendency to think like, what, did, what did I do to deserve that? Right? Like, was there something I could have done differently to avoid either, you know, encountering this person in the first place or, you know, uh, having 
you know, what, what, what could I have done to see what, what was coming to me, right? What could I have done to prevent them from uh, behaving in such an un unkind and wounding way? And uh, so, you know, understand that when somebody hurts you and somebody wounds you, it's not your fault, okay? It really isn't, no matter what. Um, you know, people lash out and they see, say wounding things or they do wounding things. They feel hurt. They want to hurt the other person. They want, you know, and then you feel hurt and you want to hurt them back, right? Um, I don't think anybody wakes up in the morning just saying, I'm going to mess this person's whole uh, psyche up today. But, um, you know, those things do happen. Heartbreak comes and, uh, you know, uh, even knowing that it's not necessarily our fault that we got hurt, it is important to also recognize that there are things we can do probably in the future to see that kind of thing coming or to see the characteristics of the kind of person who would wound us in such a way, or just to, you know, be very um, clear and honest about what it is we're looking for in our friendships and our relations to other people so that they know that this, is, that this isn't going to be an acceptable thing for you, right? There's a little bit of a mystery to plumb there. There's a little bit of a depth to look into that just says, you know, how can I uh, better protect myself in the future so that I don't have to feel this way? And also, you know, um, you know, what can I do differently perhaps to make people, to not let people think that they can just walk all over me like that, if that's the case, right? And I think that's all I have to say about it today, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate your presence. My name is Mel Rose, and I'll see you all back here tomorrow for more Astrology Today and Tarot.